So we've come out tonight to the Freemasons in Whizzle, which is just round the corner from Clitheroe. It's a very um, small restaurant and it's up like a little hill. Um, it's very difficult to find if you don't know where it is, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm going to show you the food that we're having tonight because we've actually decided to go with a taste of meal. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up and don't forget to comment in the section below. Um, if you actually have a look, when, you, when I turned it up, I'm looking at this and it says Michelin. Can you see it? I don't know if you can from there because of the light. Can you see that says Michelin on it? Now, Michelin and Michelin star, that means that it's in the Michelin Good Food Guide. Um, and you have to follow these processes before you can have a Michelin star. So if you have a look at this sign here, it's got a knife and a fork and a plate underneath it. So if you get a Michelin star and then I think it's a fork, sorry, Michelin plaque and a fork, then you get a Michelin plaque and a fork and a knife, then you get a Michelin plaque and a fork and a knife and a plate. So this place is just off getting a Michelin star. Now they've actually changed the rules for Michelin star now. So Michelin for one star, it's just the food. Michelin with two stars, it's the food in the front of the house. Michelin three star is now the whole caboodle. So as I come inside, you'll be able to see what it's, oh, it's sugar, what it's like. I'll show you a book that's on the side that's got it all written in. And there's a place that's very close to this that's just been given. Um, actually a Michelin star, I don't know if you know the area fence. It's called the, the white swan, but a lot of people call it the mocky duck. Nugget of uh, smoked salmon and scallop with a pine mayonnaise. Did you get that? That looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Right, thank you. Here's tartlets of Lancashire cheese. Whipped Lancashire cheese. Whipped Lancashire cheese, beetroot and beer vinegar. Beer vinegar. <laughs> bon with lamb fat and rosemary. And we've just been told to put a bit of butter on it. <laughs> Char grilled leek with smoked haddock and this is a um, fish finger hot dog with some cheese puffs. So basically this is a fish finger hot dog with um we what's it on top cheesy what's it on toast yakitori style with beer Vinegar, vinegar, Yorkshire rhubarb, Yorkshire rhubarb. and then them cheesy crisps. Smoked eel. Smoked eel. <laughs> oh. I know, I don't fancy smoked eel. Oh, I do. Yeah. Where's the smoked eel? I don't know. On the top. Just eat it all together. All right. These maggot looking things, right? <laughs> Oh, well, that makes it even oh, more I tell you something. Oh, <laughs> We're out for a beautiful, in in, in a Michelin, uh, not Michelin star, but Michelin food guy restaurant, eating a taster meal. It's incredibly expensive, and Gary talk, talk, talks about maggots on the top of his food. <laughs> Roast loin of cod served with artichoke, hazelnuts, yuzu, squid, chorizo, with a sauce meal. <laughs> oh, my God. Well Amazing. Enjoy. Pan fried lobster tail, crispy chicken wings, tempura prawns. I always thought tempura prawns were in um, batter. Oh, beg your pardon, sorry. Oh, so that's your lobster, sorry, sweet corn, lobster tail, chicken wing, and sweet corn. Lobster. Loin of venison. Right, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> have a lot here. Have a one. Ro roast loin of venison. With the venison tartar. The venison tartar. Pear tartar. parsnip and sweet. Pear Where parsnip. Where is the venison tartar? That's raw, isn't it? Yes. Wow. Is that underneath? No. Um, it'll, it'll, oh, it's here. Yeah. I found it. Right. Round there. Thank you. Enjoy. It. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Fruits and the mango softly. Thank you. So a what? <laughs> What's this? Malfi lemon pie. Malfi? A Malfi. A Malfi. That's where you get the lemons from in um, oh. Italy. Italy. All right. Lemon. Okay. Those giant ones. I only know Del Monte. <laughs> the Del Monte. The Malfi from Del Monte. <laughs> <laughs> so, <What>? yes. <laughs> Kick them now. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's down aisle nine. The man, in <laughs> the man from Del Monte. Is that his name? Amalfi. Amalfi. Lemon, Lemon meringue. Lemon meringue pie. Oh look. So I think they are like Italian meringue. Yeah. 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 Mm. Then you've got shards of meringue. Yeah. yeah. You've got yeah. tropical fruit, that'll be passion fruit, mm. and some else. What's the, is that, what's that red thing? That looks like watermelon. Is it watermelon? That's like watermelon. And some crispy crumb. Oh, lovely. White, white, fudge. White, fudge. White, chocolate fudge. Truffles. And it's hot chips. We enjoyed the music in here tonight. So this is just showing you... Uh, the Good Food Guide 2019 and um, Inn at Whitewell, that's a really good place to go to, Breed and Murphy restaurant but you've got the Whizzle at Freemasons at Whizzle and this is what I'm talking about being in the Good Food Guide. It's been absolutely beautiful tonight and we've had such a lovely time and I have to say out of all the taster courses that I've been on, taster menus I've been on, this has definitely been one of my favourites, there hasn't been anything that I haven't enjoyed. Um, I would say the duck yakitori was my favourite, but it's been absolutely beautiful, really lovely. Um, obviously, a taster meal is always a little bit more expensive. So you've got top 100 restaurants in the North West 2019. You've got January Blues, our next Chippy Tea. Oh, Valentine's at the Freemasons. Six courses, £70 per person. And then you've also got food and wine club Chinese New Year. Oh, I bet that's good. That's a good one. Yeah, so this is to show you around because nobody's in here now, so I'll just show you around rather than so it's like a, almost like an old sort of pub, but it's just beautifully um it's just beautiful. It's had a really good, really good uh, meal. And that's the bar. And we've got a fabulous um bottle of wine as well, Gary and I. Mm. Don't have that fudge, because it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> We're phoning for a lift. <laughs> and that's the wine that Gary and I have had, which has been really lovely. Because I was enjoying myself a little bit too much on Saturday night, I forgot to say cheerio. Yes, it was a really good night. We had to taste the menu and uh, as, I've, as you've just seen, all the food um, that Gary and I had. I had one or two glasses of wine, but not much. That was the first day of drinking um, since um, January the 2nd. Um, I'm not a big drinker anyway anymore. I used to be when I was little, when I, <laughs> not little, but you know, younger, when I used to go to a party, but since Frankie Jack, it's not the same. So one, two glasses and I'm away with the fairies. So as you can see, we were giggling a little bit towards the end. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow.